Hey what's up guys, in today's video we're going to be going over some interesting PlayStation news. The first topic in the video is about how Sony is reportedly looking at ways of integrating ads into free to play titles. Reading from PlayStation Universe, a report from Business Insider details that Sony is looking at ways of bringing in-game ads to free to play titles on its platform. The report goes on to explain that these ads would be intended to appear as a part of the game like digital billboards and sports stadiums. This comes just days after another report from Business Insider revealed that Microsoft is exploring a similar strategy. According to the Business Insider report via VGC, Sony is already testing a software program designed to let developers create their own in-game ads. It's unknown though if Sony will follow Microsoft's alleged path of foregoing a cut of ad revenue, but the report does indicate there's a potential for Sony to charge its partners for consumer behavior data. The report also says that Sony is looking at ads that give viewers rewards for watching ads and promotions for in-game items like avatar skins, an ad format that is not mentioned in the report on Microsoft. In-game ads aren't anything new to the industry, they've just seldom been appreciated by players especially in the case of some previous sports titles where unskippable ads cause a fury of player backlash. So yeah, I mean, this is from the outside looking in. This is a very troubling thing that Sony is trying to do. And I understand why a lot of you are extremely against this and hope that Sony actually doesn't do this. And for those of you who don't know, I'm going to let you know now that Sony is a company they are a business and the number one most important thing for a business is to make as much money as possible so sony is at least going to try this maybe it'll go horribly wrong and they'll just take it out but sony is going to look at like making this happen and just see how the fan base responds now i get both sides of the coin i understand why people absolutely hate this and i'm still as of right now more on that side but there's actually a positive look at this that I kind of want to open your eyes to for those of you who are kind of closed off to this idea. Now, there's two ways that Sony could do this. One way, which is honestly, there's a good chance it might end up being this way, which would act, which would absolutely be terrible as if, let's say, you're playing a free to play title on PlayStation and then all of a sudden after you finish an online match and then it's just like a youtube when you watch it and you get like a 15 second unskippable ad for some dumb company like if if that's actually what happens then yeah that would be absolutely absolutely terrible and honestly i feel like sony would get so much backlash that that wouldn't last that long so i really don't think sony's going to do that and here's what i think sony is probably going to actually going to be doing and it actually says this in the article, which makes a lot of sense. Imagine you're playing an online game and let's say you're driving in a car down the highway in whatever this game is, right? And let's say there's a billboard and on the billboard, it's like an ad for Coca-Cola or something like that. You know, if, it, if it's stuff like that, like those are the ads and like signs and you know, like a perfect example is Death Stranding. If you've played that game, whenever you drink energy drinks, it's actually monster energy drinks, but it has nothing to do with the actual like, like you don't have, you don't have to pay for it. Like it's just a seamless transition in the game. Like it makes sense. If it's stuff like that, then honestly, I don't care. And especially if they make it to where if developers do that, then developers will make more money more profit off their games in order to make like better games in the future then i'm all for that you know imagine playing a game like the last of us online whenever it comes out and let's say you're on whatever level and there's like this brown van which you know in real life is ups but in a game now they can't put ups because there's licensing issues well what if instead of that of like some knockoff made up brand what if it actually is like a ups truck and, and that's the ad you know and that's how they make more money or the developers and that's it so looking at it from that perspective i would be totally okay with it but honestly like as i mentioned earlier if it's like where like it's you have to watch something and you can't skip it and like and it comes out of nowhere just like kind of like watching youtube videos then then that would be absolutely horrible and I would definitely like rip into Sony for that. 
you know but what do you guys think down below let me know how you feel about sony apparently wanting to integrate ads into their free-to-play titles would you be okay if they implemented it in the way that i explained to where it could be a positive where it's just like a seamless flow into the game or do you feel like it'll probably be something where like it's like an unskippable ad just like on youtube Moving on to the final topic in the video, we're going to be going over how Nolan North reveals details on Amy Hennig's Uncharted 4, including huge role for Cutter. Reading from PlayStation Universe, Nolan North, the voice actor behind Nathan Drake in the Uncharted franchise, has spilled more details on the scrapped version of Uncharted 4 at Thief's End under direction of Amy Hennig prior to her departure from Naughty Dog. Chatting on Couch Soup during a playthrough of Uncharted 4 by Liam McIntyre and Todd Lacence, North went into detail about the original version of the action-adventure title, which saw Hennig have a lot of different ideas in store for the game. Quote, the biggest thing most people probably remember is we had shot Uncharted 4 with Amy Hennig for about 7 months. We were well into the game and she was dismissed from Naughty Dog and they got rid of everything we did. They recast the whole thing. The original cast had Graham McTavish, Cutter, McTavish's character, last seen in Drake's Deception, had a huge role in Amy's 4. Todd Stashwick played Sam and Alan Tudyk was Rafe. But they ended up switching it all out. Troy Baker came on to play Sam. They added Nadine for Laura Bailey. Financially, it was nice, but you know, that's the business. I was just glad they didn't just scrap the whole thing and say, it's done, we're done, unquote. Uncharted 4 A Thief's End was released in May 2016 for the PS4 and was remastered for PS5 alongside Uncharted The Lost Legacy for PS5 earlier this year. So yeah, I mean, for me, this is not any real news at all. Like, I've known for a while that, you know, originally Amy Hennig was making Uncharted 4 and then she got... I don't know if she got kicked out or she just left Naughty Dog and then Neil Druckmann and Bruce Straley took over and like the story completely changed and honestly like I remember watching a video about like what the original story was going to be and how like Cutter was going to have a bigger role in Uncharted 4 and I'm glad that Uncharted 4 turned out the way that it was you know but it is very interesting hearing Nolan North coming out and actually talking about this publicly because I mean, I'm pretty sure it was like last year or maybe back in 2020 when I heard. Yeah, I think it was in 2020 whenever I heard, like whenever The Last of Us Part 2 came out, where there was people making videos about how Uncharted 4 could have been very different. And obviously, you know, if Amy Hennig never left and she got to make Uncharted 4, then obviously it would have been very different because there would have been different characters and Troy Baker wouldn't have been cast as Sam. You know, so honestly, I am glad that the game turned out the way it did. And yeah, obviously, I mean, we'll never know like the full details on what happened with how Amy left Naughty Dog, or maybe there is, and I'm just not aware. So if you guys do know, just feel free to let me know down below in the comment section. But yeah, what do you guys think down below? Let me know your thoughts on how Amy Hennig's vision of Uncharted 4 would have been very different compared to neil Druckmann's vision do you feel like maybe it could have been better or are you glad that uncharted 4 was directed by neil Druckmann? thank you guys so much for watching this video i really appreciate it if you enjoyed it or found it informative drop it a like and consider subscribing if you're new by turning on the post notification bell so you don't miss my next upload until next time guys take care